Do you ever wear jewelry? Ever fly in a jetliner? Maybe you collect coins. Do you use a cell phone? Well, did you know that none of these products would exist if it wasn't for mining? Let's learn more about mining. Mining is the process of extracting minerals and metals from the earth. Below the Earth's surface, miners brave a dangerous environment. But mines provide minerals that are essential to modern technology. Metals and other elements are used in millions of manufactured products. Computers, tablets, and smartphones rely on this silicone chip. Silicone is the main element making up the mineral quartz. The electronic glass screens we look at are made from quartz sand. In electronic devices, gold, platinum, and silver is used to conduct electricity. More than 20 elements are used to make electronic circuit boards and other components of electronics. Each of these minerals must be extracted by mining their naturally occurring forms. All of our modern forms of transportation are also manufactured from minerals. Most cars are constructed out of steel. Steel is made using iron which is purified from minerals like magnetite and hematite. Airplane frames use two metals, aluminum and titanium. Aluminum is derived from a mineral called bauxite. Titanium comes from minerals called rutile and ilmenite. Without mining, our modern forms of transportation and electronic communication would not exist. Mining takes place throughout the world. There are two types of mining, surface mining and underground mines. Surface mining is used when minerals are abundant and close to the surface. There are three types of surface mines, open pit, strip, and quarry mining. Open pit mining is typically used to extract metal ores, like copper, gold, iron, and aluminum, and other minerals. The open pit is created through a series of excavations that look like terracing. Strip mining is used mainly for coal extraction. It involves removing one strip of rock and dirt at a time. Once the coal has been taken from the first strip, a second strip is cut next to it, and the waste from the second strip is used to backfill the first. This continues until all the coal is extracted. Quarries provide building materials, such as sand, gravel, clay, granite, and other materials. Rock is blasted and then crushed before further cleaning and processing. Underground mines are necessary when the overburden or the rock and material above the deposit is too great for easy removal. Such mines are only feasible when the material to be extracted is highly valuable. While mining is essential to our current way of life, it does not come without its risks and negative impacts. Mining is a high-risk job. Environmentally, mining is destructive. Environmental damage is severe if the mine area is not reclaimed. Surface mining leads to polluted surface and groundwater contamination from heavy metals. Sediment clogs streams, while landslides, fumes, and unstable ground create health and safety hazards. Surface mining also destroys habitat for local wildlife. During operation, mines cause air and noise pollution. Mining of minerals has allowed the flourishing of our modern culture. Yet we find ourselves in a difficult conundrum. Do the benefits of mining outweigh the costs? That's a question that has no easy answer.